Denim is the in thing. There isn't anything that's selling bigger than denim is. I just want to show you some of the products now that they have in denim. Look at this. Here's a little, uh, uh, it's like a purse or something. It's made out of denim. It's two little, two little pockets or a pencil box. Will you shut up? I'll tell them what it is. <laughs> Don't fool around. Look at these over here. Place settings in denim. And you put the serviette in here, see? And it's got the, the Levi's tag on it, you know? Place settings. Hang on. Get those out the way. Denim watches, if you're in a market for those. Look at that. Here's one. It's another one. Uh, here's more. It's another one. Denim watches. Purses. Bags. Just about everything you can imagine is being made into denim now. Show you this. Here's a cigarette box. Denim. And you got the blues underneath, and they're denim too. <laughs> in that box. Um, these are denim shoes, of course. Two different styles. You can have a look at those. It's amazing, the fashions that they are coming out with in denim. Look at these kids' shoes here. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? That's really something. And these, I gotta, must show you these. These are denim sheets. Uh, this is a denim pillowcase. What? And denim sheets. Hang on, I'll open it up so you can have a look. Look at that. Ah. Wanna? And of course, I saved these for last, because you have to see these. <laughs> You believe this? These are denim underneath and plastic inside, right? Did it turn them around? Oh. That's so you can have a look. Isn't that nice? With plastic inside. And a lot of other things. There's some other things here. Here's a suit bag that we've got that they're selling now in denim. Here's another suit bag they're selling denim. And over here, I just want to show you this way. Let's stand up. Sure. This is a denim book. <laughs> well, not really, but it's what I mean. It's not what I mean. Anyway, we're going to bring somebody out here who's going to tell us a few more things, and he's going to show us some of the styles he's collected for us. Ladies and gentlemen, Izzy Dye. Here. Okay, now, what, this is a denim carrying bag. That's incredible, it? isn't it? It's, it's, well, I'll get all my little goodies out of here. Okay. Please. But, um, we have to sort of really build through here, I know, so we've got to keep moving right. if we can. Yeah, That's incredible. It's actually made for people like us, sportsmen. What's happened? Why, why all like the you're denim... You're all around sportsmen, mate. Why all the denim move at the moment? Well, I think that from the last, say, um, oh, 10 years since the rocker era, that actually, if I can have a quick shove of my jeans. See, the rocker era, come back to the old straight leg, back to the... It's like a recycle that's happened over about the last oh, 10 years or so. Uh -huh. And... Um, in the last few years, it used to be, you know, just the teenagers, the young market, right? Mm. And then slowly, slowly, the sort of in-trend, even now, as you know, the socialites and, you know, people buying $100 suits made out of denim is not unusual, although they might be cut, say, in the style that you're wearing, right? Right. They don't yeah. necessarily have to be... It's like a... It's now a, um, an image, and I think it's, it's a, a part of the rebellion, I think, against the straight clothes or the, the, the normal average conservative clothes that have been made. Okay, now all of these uh, denim clothes that we're about to see, yep. uh, Izzy, that you gathered up for us, now these are all from different parts of um, the world? Uh, well, th some of them are from, uh, from overseas and most of them are available in Australia. I mean, that's one of the main reasons we'd like to show them because as well as anything else, a lot of people out there say, gee, you know, we live out so-and-so, we can't get any of those, but these t styles here are available in Australia, but towards the end, mm. we'll bring out our piece de resistance, some things that have never been seen before. Okay, well, let's never have a look. All right, go? okay. First up, let's have a quick look. We've got uh, wearing Rio gear, the lovely Debbie. This type of gear has got the front pleated shirt, and as you can see, it's got a crisscross belt loop there and funky pair of jeans, fitting really nicely, matched up with a Bags Unlimited handbag too. Those are flares though on the bottom. Flares on the bottom, right. As yeah. you can see, most of these type of jeans fit really nice and snugly. The whole idea being that, uh, so there, there's Rosemary and a pair of Levi's wearing the boot jeans. See, these are specially made to wear with the slim, straight leg, as you can see in the jean. They fit re really nicely around the backside and have a nice top there for right. uh, Rosemary. Oh, it's a fella for a change. This is Dave wearing some Atelier 15 gear. He's got the tapestry trim on the pockets. Oh, hey, stay still a minute. Have a look at the trim. Yeah. Aren't they great? The trim on the pockets and the um, A, which portrays Atelier 15 on the shirts. Again, the shirts being tight and boggy, body, boggy, <laughs> body huggy. <laughs> they look really nice. A lot of guys wear open shirts like that, but if you've got hair in your chest, it doesn't look good. Well, ah. this, this lady doesn't have hair in her chest, Joan Murray. She's wearing uh, East Coast denim gear. And uh, this fabulous long coat is ideal for wintertime. The ideal thing, of course, is that you get fur coats, we like to get one 
one out in denim and matched up with a pair of... Just show the jeans on the back. They're the high-waisted buckle jeans. Can we show the back, Joan? Oh, See? yeah. They're really nice. High-waisted, the idea is to keep the back side looking nice and spunky. And that really does look nice on Joan, too. Yes, it does. And you have a very nice backside, Joan. Okay. But I tell you that. Who else? All right, and the next person we have is a uh, very special guest on the... This is... Perfect. Uh, could, you, uh, could you walk around a little, fella, so we can get the line of the clothes and everything? Yeah. Actually, what is worn here, which you believe, Don? Bert's wearing a, a pair of Atelier overalls matched up <laughs> with a $1,000 jacket. That coat cost $1,000. Oh, yeah, we're going to show some incredible? of those in this denim book right. in just a moment. We won't yeah. show that yet, but that is... And the body is... Compliments of Mrs. McGrath. All right, next up we have Tony. Tony's wearing a, a Kuji zip pocket uh, straight legs. As you can see, zip pockets in the back, which makes for easy maneuverability, and matched up with a nice, the nice belts. And of course, it's sort of like what they used to call an Eisenhower jacket or something. Didn't they used to call those? I wasn't the around when he was here. Uh, oh yeah, the com yeah. No, well we call them bum freezers. Bum freezers. Well, j j battle jackets, you know. The little, yeah. They're really nice, aren't they? Too. They look nice. That's worn by oh, okay. Tony of Kuji, and of course, Monica here, wearing a Rio patch denim and cotton striped. Dress and, uh, so that's a combination of denim and another material, again, isn't it? Yeah. The idea being that in most circumstances, people like to wear denim, but they do like to match it up with other things as well. Hey, hey. Here you've got Monty, baby, here. Monty's wearing one of the Levi's from overseas. Fabulous Levi's jacket with a pair of uh, flared jeans. As you can see, they fit well. The idea being, if you've got a good body, why not let the jeans hug you and fit you, you know what I mean? Right. And what happens if you don't have a good body? If you don't have a good body, then uh, you try and wear jeans that are somehow covering up what you've got. Right. Right, Anne Harding is wearing a pair of Atelier. This is the new, like I'm wearing, Don, it's the pig skin. It's a pig skin that's actually been inserted into uh -huh. the jean, as you can see on my jacket. And she, uh, Anne is wearing the flared jean to match, and I'm wearing the... Uh, pockets you can't get them in the pockets right hi there all right this is mary wearing east coast jeans and of course her jeans have a sort of a typical style little patch at the front the pleated um, belt loops of belt and of course matched up with a little denim cap not a lot of pocket space in uh, no but i honestly don't think the jeans need to have pockets you know my personal opinion is that all pockets should be sewn up and they should only be there for effect gee that's nice that really that. looks nice doesn't it yeah He's wearing a, a pair of rarity jeans, again with the similar leather tops to, that I've got. Can, Can you show us the, the tops there, Graham, please? Just lift the top. That's oh, similar. Yeah, Isn't I that see. nice? And it's matched up with a leather coat, as you can see, or a polo neck sweater. Again, uh -huh. it doesn't have to look scungy. That type of outfit can be worn out to most, you know, nice That's right, to any event that you right, want to uh, uh, go out to, right. And last but definitely not least, the lovely Marty, wearing a pair of uh, Rio, the Oriental look, which is, this is really big this year, Don, the Oriental look. Yeah. It's got striped cotton cuffs and uh, pleated back pockets. Can we see the back pockets, Marty? Nice back pockets, eh? Yes, very, <laughs> you, you have wonderful back pockets, Marty, I'll tell but you that. This type of the ethnic or the Oriental look is very popular this year, and we hope it will be succeeding. Oh, so, so that's sort of the line of the range of clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah.